guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Dobro, and today we're making fried rice with shrimp, chicken, and beef. Ian found this recipe online somewhere. So just so you know, that recipe will be linked down below in the description. So yeah, there's not much else to say about this dish, so let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first we need day old rice. So we just cooked up one and a fourth cup of basmati rice in a little bit more than two cups of water. And once that's all done cooking, we end up with four cups of cooked rice. And we just put that in some Tupperware and let that sit in the fridge overnight. Now, for the next day, we needed to let all of our meats thaw out, so we took out all the meats. <laughs> and then while those were thawing, we diced up about a half a plate of baby carrots. My brother likes using baby carrots because he doesn't like that crunchy carrotness in his fried rice, so the baby carrots help him to get really tiny pieces. The tinier they are, the less likely it'll have that intense crunch to them after they're cooked. Next, we're cutting up one medium white onion, and the recipe calls for both white onion and green onions. Green onions would definitely make that taste more authentic, I guess you could say. But I was like, just white is perfectly fine for my family. We're not too picky. <laughs> then we poured some frozen peas on the plate as well, just to kind of measure it out a little bit. We ended up using about eight ounces. Now veggie prep is done. Now we have to prep all the meats, so we had to extra thaw out the shrimps. We ended up thawing out about a pound of those guys and just so you know they're already deveined and all that stuff so just had to take the tails off. And just like in that Cajun pasta dish we are drying off those shrimps three times. Next, we are taking two chicken thighs, still pretty frozen, but with a little give to them. And those are just being sliced up as thin as possible. Now for the steak, again, we're just slicing that up as thin as possible. And just a little side note, don't get a steak that looks like ours. <laughs> we were supposed to get something thin and pretty fatty, so definitely aim for that rather than something that's thick and lean. And lastly, for the prep, we're whisking up four eggs. Now to start on the cooking part, we're starting off with the eggs and we're just scrambling those up with about one tablespoon of butter. And right before those are done, we're adding in some salt. Now that those are done, we're just setting those off to the side so we can start on the shrimps. First, we're adding some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder to them. I'm sorry I didn't get that part on film. And then those cook on medium heat in about a half a tablespoon of butter and a half a tablespoon of vegetable oil for about a minute and a half, maybe two on one side. Then we flipped them and then cooked those for another like 30 seconds to a minute on the other side. And again, those are going off to the side once they look good. Next, we're cooking the chicken, so we have to take a larger pan, adding in, again, more butter, about a tablespoon and a half, and cooking that all the way through with some salt and pepper for about six minutes or so. Again, setting that chicken off to the side, but keeping as much chicken juice and butter in the pan as possible because next we're cooking the steak and those juices along with another half a tablespoon of butter. And personally, if it was just me who was eating this dish, I would leave the steak just a little bit pink, but how much you cook that steak is up to you. Thank you. 
And again, leaving in as much juice as possible once we set that steak off to the side. Okay, in that same large pan, we are going to take more butter, about a tablespoon, our cut up veggies, a nice glob of minced jarred garlic, and some salt and pepper, and just cooking all of that on medium high heat for about seven minutes, mainly just to make sure those carrots get nice and cooked and lose some of their crunch. Then we just had to move those veggies off to the side in the pan. Pretty much just get them out of the way. Then turn the heat up to max. Add in another tablespoon and a half of butter and the day old basmati rice and let that rice sit there and get some color. Now while that's sitting there, we can add in about two tablespoons of soy sauce and about a tablespoon and a half of oyster sauce. By the way, this stuff is amazing. It's not fishy like at all. It's just a super savory taste. It's amazing. <laughs> now we let that cook for just a couple more minutes. Then we're gonna add in the steak, chicken, shrimp, and eggs. Turn off the heat, mix all that up, and then add in some drops of toasted sesame oil. And of course, mix that up one more time. And yeah, it's all done. The flavors in this dish kill me. They're so good. This has to be one of my favorite dishes that Ian has made. It's just, oh, it's so good. If I had to choose which meat tasted best with everything, personally, I think that would be the shrimp. I don't know why. It just works so well. I think you're gonna really like this dish. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have one more dish of Ian's and then... We'll find some more food to do. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.